children's toy is a simple and affordable toy that has brought children in the 1970s and 80s many hours of fun. Some parents and even children today might recall learning to make a similar toy using different materials to see how they affect the speed of the toy gliding through the air. This toy typically consists of a thin piece of plastic sheet or paper for the parachute and a small plastic toy figurine attached to it with string. This toy can be played by tossing it in the air and watching the parachute open in mid-air before landing on the ground. The toy soldier at the end of it acts as a weight to stabilize the parachute. In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to create your very own parachute soldier toy using different materials that you can find at home. You can attach an existing toy to your parachute, but if you don't have one, we will teach you how to create your very own paper toy soldier. Let's begin. First, we will need materials. We need an A5 piece of paper, some watercolor paint or color pencils, some permanent colored markers, a pair of scissors, some yarn or string. Yarn would be a better choice as it tangles less easily. Some glue, a plastic bag, and last but not least, a small piece of cardboard that acts as a weight for a toy soldier. Let's start making the parachute. We want to cut out a square from this plastic bag. First, cut away the uneven sides that includes the handles and the bottom of the plastic bag. Next, we will cut open the side here. To make a square, you will bring this corner to line up with the bottom here and cut along this line to make a perfect square. And there you have your parachute. You can use permanent colour markers to decorate your parachute. Next, we are going to cut a piece of yarn that is the length of your parachute. Then cut another three strands of the same length. Tie a strand of yarn to each corner of the parachute. Line them all together like this and make sure the ends are equal. Let's set this aside for now and make our paper soldier. Get your paper and marker ready, we're going to do a step-by-step -step drawing of the soldier together. We will start with the helmet as a semicircle and then a U-shape for the face. This is where you can be creative with his expression. You can draw him excited, happy or even scared. You can also draw some goggles for him too. Next, draw the harness with two rectangles. We will draw his arms going up in an L-shape. You can draw his gloves with a small C for the thumb and a big one for the other finger. We will draw in his body with two lines and then the rest of the harness in a letter V. Now you can be creative with his legs. How do you want his legs to move? You can draw them kicking if you like. Start with an L shape and finish off his army boots with two lines and a U shape. Draw in the other side. If you have watercolour paint, you can use the wet on wet technique to create the camouflage pattern. Take a brush and paint the area of the uniform with just water. Be careful though, don't take too much water or your paper will tear. Keep a rag of tissue nearby to soak up the excess water. Let's take yellow, green and some brown to dab on these wet parts and watch the paint spread and blend into each other, creating a blurred effect. If you're using colour pencils or crayons, you can colour them in patches like this to create the pixel effect that we see on our National Service uniforms. Now, after painting and colouring, cut around your soldier. Be careful when cutting around the arm. We can set that aside and we can start on our parachute bag. Cut to a small rectangle or square that can fit on the back of your soldier. This will be the parachute bag that acts as a weight for your soldier. You can then decorate it and stick it on the back. You can try out different weights and materials to see how they affect the speed of the parachute gliding down. Now, we're going to tie the opposite ends of each corner of the parachute to one arm. This will prevent your parachute from getting too tangled. Repeat this for the other arm. If you're not able to cut out the arms easily, you can also tape the strands of yarn to the arms instead. Congratulations on successfully assembling your parachute surgery toy!
Now you can watch a parachute glide down to the ground. I find it easier to pinch the top of the parachute and release to watch it fall. Try tying different toys or materials to your parachute. You can also make parachutes of different sizes to see which one touches the ground first. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. We have more videos lined up for you using objects that you can easily find at home to create toys inspired by what children played with in the past. Visit the web link below for a new release every Friday at 10am. See you again!